I'm meteorologist Peter Chan with the National Weather Service for Alaska Statewide Weather. And on this Thursday afternoon, we have red flag warnings that will extend until 9 o'clock this Thursday evening for areas along the Alaska Range northward through Delta Junction and Fairbanks where southeasterly winds could gust as high as 30 to 40 miles an hour combined with the very dry and warm conditions that has caused a high fire danger. That portion of the state will continue to see a uh, high fire danger here as we uh, go in through uh, the end of the week. As far as also we're seeing some strong gusty winds, uh, the uh, uh, turn again winds uh, in the Anchorage area have been gusting 35 to near 40 miles an hour in some spots thanks to a low pressure system that's sitting along the, uh, the tip of the uh, Alaska Peninsula out into the southeast bearing this feature is going to slowly weaken as it drifts slowly north northeastward but it has brought waves of rain especially along coastal areas of the southwest peninsula including Kodiak Island up through south central areas the Kenai all the way into uh, the southeast panhandle but panhandle is going to start to dry out we have a very large ridge of high pressure over the northwest united states particularly the pacific northwest places like washington state oregon idaho are going to see record high temperatures above 100 degrees here going through this weekend some of them could be all-time highs some of that warmer weather is going to translate it and at least the southern panhandle could see some readings above 80 degrees here later on this weekend by Sunday. Otherwise across the interior uh, Friday into Saturday day still some scattered showers here and there in the Yukon Valley especially up toward Yukon Flats down toward uh, Northway and then also in the southwest there could be some isolated thunder and uh, again still coastal areas picking up some bands of uh, light rain but that, that rain will have a tendency to begin to diminish later this weekend as that low pressure out over the southeast uh, bearing south uh, just southwest of uh, Bristol Bay begins to weaken but again we'll still see some scattered showers and isolated storms especially across the southwest uh, third of the state but otherwise drier conditions should return to south central areas including uh, Anchorage on up toward the Alaska range and as I mentioned, uh, warmer temperatures will be settling into the southeast here as we go through the weekend uh, as the western end stays cloudier and cooler. I'm Peter Chan with Alaska Statewide Weather.